Tory leadership contender Liz Truss today sets out plans to keep Britain safe in an increasingly dangerous world with a multi-billion pound boost in defence spending and the full renewal of the UK's nuclear deterrent. She pledged to ensure the nation can defend itself against authoritarian regimes such as Russia and warned that we face a generation-defining moment for freedom, security and liberty. Mrs Truss said, the era of complacency is over. We are living in an increasingly dangerous world and our security is under more. The Foreign Secretary, seen as the front-runner in the battle to replace Boris Johnson as Prime Minister, announced she would increase defence spending to 3% of GDP by 2030. The current defence budget, £42.4 billion, is around 2% of GDP. Her plans go further than those set out by Mr Johnson at a NATO summit in June, when he said the UK would spend 2.5% of GDP on defence by the end of the decade. At current levels it would see She also confirmed she was fully committed to renewing the UK's nuclear deterrent by delivering a new fleet of Dreadnought-class submarines. Existing plans for a fleet of four are expected to cost £31 billion over the life of the programme, with £10 billion in contingency funding also set aside. Focusing on defence and security as the Tory leadership campaign enters its final week, she promised to strengthen support for the UK's intelligence services including MI6, which monitors threats from overseas, GCHQ and the National Cyber Force, established in Ms. Trust said, my number one priority as Prime Minister will be to keep our nation safe. We thought that peace and stability were inevitable, but they aren't. She added, we need to make sure that Britain has the deterrence it needs to lead the global efforts to tackle aggression from the likes of Russia and other authoritarian regimes. This is a generation-defining moment for freedom, security and liberty, and we must rise to it. We simply cannot allow aggressors to think they will go unchallenged. As Foreign Secretary, I prove that I have the grit and determination required to stand up to Putin and I will continue to do so as Prime Minister. That is the